हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कोरान्ने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज ऑफ एमसीक्यू बिकॉज ऑफ अ कंसिस्टेंट डिमांड ऑफ माय व्यूअर्स एंड सब्सक्राइबर्स रिगार्डिंग एमसीक्यू इन दीज एम सी क्यू वीडियोज वीडियोज आर प्रिपेर फॉर डिफरंट टॉपिक्स एंड for each mcq what is the correct answer the explanation is given in some videos or in some problems of mcqs all the choices are very nearer to the answer in that case you have to choose such a answer which is best matching that particular question so in this manner i am starting with this video series for mcq dear friends let us start with the first chapter of simple stresses and strains question number 1 all the bodies considered in strength of material are assumed to be a plastic b elastic c rigid and d none of the above dear friends the very basic assumption for strength of material is every body which is to be considered in strength of material is elastic because that is the major difference between applied mechanics and strength of material in applied mechanics every body we were assuming as rigid body but here in strength of material or mechanics of structure we assume it to be elastic hence the correct answer is b elastic question number 2 the body is said to be actually loaded if the load line dash 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 the axis of the body a coincides with b parallel to c perpendicular to and d tangential to for this question it is the basic that line of action of the load is known as load line when it coincides with the axis of the body it is known as axial axially loaded therefore the answer of this question is a coincides with question number 3 if the nature of axial load is a pull then the body is said to be a shear b axial compression c axial tension and d torsion now in this question the load is axial and it is of pulling nature means it will try to elongate the body and such a body is said to be in axial tension hence the correct answer of this question is c axial tension question number 4 if the nature of axial load is a push then the body is said to be in a shear b torsion c axial tension d axial compression this is exactly similar type of question like the previous question in the previous question it was axial pull so it was of pulling nature here it is axial push so it is of pushing nature so it will try to contract the body and the body will be said to be in axial compression hence the correct answer is d axial compression question number 5 if a bar of elastic material is axially pulled its length will dash 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 and diameter will dash 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 the answers or the choices are a decrease increase b increase decrease c decrease decrease and d 
increase increase now in this problem the bar is pulled therefore its length will increase and diameter will decrease hence the correct answer is b increase and decrease question number 6 if a bar of elastic material is actually pushed its length will dash 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 and diameter will dash 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 a decrease increase b increase decrease c decrease increase and d increase increase now in this case here it is actually pushed therefore its length will decrease and diameter will increase therefore the correct answer is c sorry a decrease increase question number 7 which of the following materials is not ductile a aluminium b mild steel c copper and d cast iron now in this question in some mcqs you have to use the method of rejection in this case which of the following materials is not ductile aluminium is ductile so it is not the answer mild steel is ductile so it is not the answer copper is also ductile so it is not the answer so only material which is not ductile is cast iron therefore the correct answer is d cast iron question number 8 which of the following materials is r ductile a aluminium b mild steel c copper d all the above now in this question you will see that option a is also ductile b is ductile c is ductile therefore the correct answer is d all the above question number 9 which of the following material is brittle a aluminium b mild steel c cast iron d copper now in this question aluminium is ductile mild steel is also ductile copper is also ductile cast iron is brittle therefore the correct answer is c cast iron question number 10 the material that can be drawn into wire is known as a brittle b ductile c malleable d none of the above now this is the definition of ductile material which can be drawn into wire is known as ductile in market whichever metals are available in the form of wire are ductile materials therefore the correct answer of this question is b ductile question number 11 the material that can be drawn into sheets when hammered is known as a brittle b ductile c malleable d none of the above now in the market whatever sheets are available they are malleable okay so here brittle ductile are not correct answer the correct answer is c malleable question number 12 the property by virtue of which the body deforms when loaded and regains its original shape and size on removal of the load is known as a ductility b elasticity c plasticity and d malleability now this is the definition of elasticity therefore the correct answer is b elasticity question number 13 the property by virtue of which the body offers resistance to indentation penetration scratching and wear and tear is known as a ductility b toughness c hardness 
and the malleability the material on which you can scratch with the help of sharp edges okay some materials are there which are not allowing you to scratch on their surfaces and this is the property of hardness therefore in this pro uh, question the correct answer is c hardness question number 14 the property by virtue of which body offers resistance to impact and shock loading is known as a ductility b toughness c hardness and d malleability this is the definition of toughness and therefore the correct answer is b toughness question number 15 the property of a material by virtue of which it gets deformed permanently even after removal of the external load is known as a ductility b toughness c hardness and d plasticity now the material which permanently deforms and the original shape cannot be regained even after the load is removed such material is plastic material and hence in this particular question the correct answer is d plasticity question number 16 the change in shape and size of the elastic body due to external load is known as extension b deformation c contraction d twisting in this question all the options given are of deformation okay extension is a type of deformation contraction is a type of deformation twisting is also type of deformation so the correct answer is b deformation thank you kasha karaycha stop